today we're going to be taking apart a HP laptop. Model number is underneath the battery here. It is a Model 15-K151LNR. So the first thing you're going to do is you want to take all the screws out, which has already been done on the bottom of the laptop. All those screws. And then one of the things you have to do is pull out the CD-ROM drive. Get the Set them off to the side. And once you do that, take all the screws out. There's a couple over here you have to worry about too, but underneath the CD when you take it out. You open it up. And you can see on this one that the screen is cracked. There's lines that go through it. It was dropped got this from the Red, White, and Blue Thrift Store. That's where this came from. It's an i7 processor, NV model. It actually works pretty well. We'll see that once we change the screen up. So the next thing you want to do is you got to take the laptop bezel off. And it just snaps out. Underneath you have all the little cables. Just lift the little tabs up. Once you lift them up, you just use the edge of your fingernail. Going back here for the power. And that's your whole keyboard. Set it aside. And under this one, underneath here, you'll see there's the fan. If you have to replace it, you have to take the motherboard off to get to it. This has a different hard drive in it because I put a different hard drive in it to speed it up. Um, just as a you know, laptop hard drive, real simple to pop out. There's no screws even to hold it in. It has some rubber isolators. If you have an original spinning hard drive, you can just take it out and the connector is the same. What we're interested in today is the display though. So, what we need to do is to take out these things here so we can get to the couple of screws and then there'll be a cable. You can see the cable that goes over here that goes up into the display. There's also one over here. This will be for the antenna for the for the um, Wi-Fi. Alright. So I'm gonna take that apart now. So what you do here is you take lift the bezel up, it just snaps in, it's got these little snaps, little snaps right here. And there's one screw on this side. Keep the screws, keep them handy. And then over on this side, you have the other cover. And basically, it's just a little cover over top of the screw. It's just a sticky cover. Take the screw out. The other side. Now you got both screws out. Now the cover should snap off the rest of the way.
All right, so what I've done is I've taken off the bezel. When you take off the bezel, you have this thin strip that's stuck to the bottom side. You have to help it off. You can see it's stuck, sticks on there. Once you get that off, they just have a shield over top of this circuit card to make sure it doesn't have RF energy you know, to cause problems. They have to keep the RF radiation level south. That's how they do it. So, got that apart. You can see the routing of the wire there. You have to make sure you put the routing of the wire back where it goes. Same on this side. Routing for the antenna comes up. There's your there's your cameras. Top. Audio. And then we take a little change of the screen on it next. So there's the old display. Here's the new display. And you can see the 40 pin connector there. So we're going to take and put this one right here where this one goes. And this flappy piece that I was talking about, you can see it right here on this. This is this piece right here. But we're gonna we're gonna have to do something because you got screws under there that mount that. I'm not sure what we have to do yet, but we'll take it apart. So we have to remove this and disconnect this connector that goes to right here. So we're gonna take the display off first. So it's place held in place with these tabs right here. So we're gonna take this screw out, that screw, that one, and that one, and see how it goes. Okay, so we got the screws out of it, and now we need to remove the connector. Just held in place with this sticky tape. Once you put the sticky tape on and put the display back together, so that's what we'll do next. There's the broken one. Now we have to be ultra careful with the new one because it's a very thin panel. Okay. Now, when I did that, it snaps on both sides. And there shouldn't be a gap right there. Okay, now we just need to put the wires back in their places and put it back together. Put the screws in. So.
Okay. That's what it looks like reassembled. Screws back in place. And the wires routed underneath the little tabs that hold the wire for the display in place. Now we want to remove the protective film before we put the cover on. Set that aside. And we got our cover here. I'm going to put that back on. Make sure it all looks okay. And when you put this on, you can see that any pieces that are sticking up, you can have to snap them in place. Right. Once you get that on, you can put your couple of screws back in. You want to make sure your cover piece is put on correctly for the snaps here, which it appears to be. I don't see anything outstanding there. put our two screws back in. Okay, and now we're going to put our connector back on for our hard drive, or over top of our hard drive, the hard drive connectors right there. All you do is you just slide these little things, slide these little things in right in the slots. And then you popped on the little cover above it and they stay in place that's how it holds it in place so now we want to put our keyboard cover back on now we should make sure they're up up ready to be installed and put that in place next all right we got the keyboard cover popped on and make sure all the snaps are in and I haven't put the screws in yet in the bottom, but I powered off, connected the power, and we're about to take a test and see if it works. And there's our new display. And it uh, looks good now. 100% back to normal. So. If I can do it, you can do it too. It's not that difficult. Change your laptop display.